Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello and welcome everyone in this second live session for the course Introduction to Political Theory. I am Mithilis Kumar Jha, the course instructor and I will be very happy to respond to your queries and questions if any during this live session. So um, in this live session you can uh, write your uh, queries and comments in the chat box section and I'll be very happy to respond to them uh, as well. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure that you are learning from this course and uh, using the discussion forum for your um, queries and comments and uh, you are getting response to them from my T or me um, and uh, you know uh, submission of assignments and um, your weekly feedback is helpful uh, to us. I will just like to you know meanwhile you can write your question and comment but for those of you who have enrolled in this course have and have not registered so far, I would request uh, you to uh, do the registration as soon as you can. I think the, uh, you check the announcement section. The uh, registration for this course has been extended till 21st, that is today. So uh, if you have not registered for the course, you must do uh, uh, as soon as you can. Um, you need to, um, you know, understand that, you know, some of you are writing in your weekly feedback that um, um, some of you have missed one or two assignments uh, for various regions uh, and, uh, you know, can there be some ex extension or can uh, you submit it. Uh, the issue is that, um, Uh, assessment of your weekly assignment would be um, out of 12 assignments only 8 based assignment will be included in your final assessment so even if you have missed one or two I would suggest you to uh, continue submitting the rest of the assignments and do register to appear for the final exam to get a certificate so uh, for the purpose of learning you can enroll and anyone can enroll but to uh, get a certificate you need to register and if you have not done already i would request you to do it as soon as you can uh, again those of you who have joined just now i would request you to uh, write your question and comments if any and I will be very happy to uh, respond to them. However, there are one or two questions which is raised about uh, you know uh, downloading or any technical glitches that some of you are facing. For example, you know one learner has written about um, issue in uh, downloading the lecture. So sometimes it may happen from your side due to internet connectivity or you know for um, various regions but from our end we have all the videos uploaded on the course portal which you can download, download um, as and when it is convenient for you and you can watch it whenever it is feasible for you to do so. So all the uh, you know uh, uh, lectures 
or study materials are available on the course portal and what do I mean by the uh, study materials so you have one lecture uh, so every week there are three to four lectures which you can download or watch online whenever it is feasible for you besides the video lecture there is transcription of all the lectures so uh, you have that in the book format on the course portal if you go on the left hand um, side bottom you will see that um, icon to download the whole uh, uh, transcriptive video for the course which you can read and uh, another question is about the ppt which you can also uh, you know um, uh, download from the course portal however if you are facing any problem or if it is not accessible to you you can write to us we'll see that uh, it should be made available to you now um, as you've said about uh, you know registering registration is important for this course and uh, to get a certificate you need to have certain minimum uh, percentage so um, uh, 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 the two component for that is as you know the weekly assignment uh, you must have at least 10 out of 25 uh, from the weekly assignment and 30 out of 75 from the final exam however to sit for final examination you need to register for this course so do the registration and hopefully this course allow you to uh, understand uh, uh, modern Indian political thought uh, uh, sorry uh, to understand um, introduction to political theory and various themes in some uh, you know uh, in some details okay hi suganti good afternoon all right so suganti as i have said that all these ppts are uploaded on your course portal and from there you can upload uh, sorry download the uh, ppts for your reference so on the same course portal along with the video lecture and the transcription of the um, uh, videos ppts are also available yes i understand suganti that you need the ppt along with uh, the transcript so these are available however if you are uh, facing the issue in downloading after this uh, session i'll check again and just to ensure you can write to us also if it is not available we'll uh, ensure that uh, you know on the discussion forum or through email we should uh, share this ppt with you so after this uh, live session i'll check again and uh, we'll get back to you okay so Suganti is writing that no sir ppt is not available all right Suganti. so let me uh, check after this uh, session uh, hopefully it should be uh, if it is not there it would be made available to you soon all right thank you <clears throat> Okay, so uh, you know, as I have been saying, that hopefully uh, this course is useful to uh, many of you, and uh, we always look forward to your uh, comments and weekly feedback to improve it uh, further. Uh, meanwhile, if you have any more question, you can use the um, use the uh, chat box section, as I have said and I'll be very happy to uh, respond. After this live session, we are going to have one more live session where also you can interact with me for any queries or comments or any feedback that you may uh, wish to share, you may have to share, you can do so. 
but uh, you know uh, i'll just repeat myself from uh, uh, what i i have said in my previous live session about uh, you know um, uh, the uh, a kind of common concern that many of you have about the um, uh, nature of uh, nature of exam or the question paper hello jana thank you for joining do write any question if you have so uh, there is a kind of general or common concern that many of you have about the um, uh, uh, final exam or the nature of question although you can refer to my first live session where i have discussed in in uh, in detail but to repeat myself it is going to be mainly um, uh, uh, mcq type objective questions so there would not be any subjective uh, questions in the final exam however the uh, nature of the questions would be of three types basically so first you will have a set of questions that would be based on your recall so if you have watched the video regularly or submitted your assignments it should be easy for you to respond to those questions so there would be 10 such questions on the basis of you know your ability to recall or understand the basic themes or basic ideas discussed in different course module or different lectures then there would be a number of questions would be, which would be directly from the assignment so you see submitting the assignment regularly is very advantageous for you that not only in the weekly assignment you uh, you score good mark but also in the final exam there would be a number of question directly from the assignment so do submit your assignments regularly and then there would be the last or the final section in the final exam which would be mainly based on your uh, comprehension mainly based to assess your comprehension and understanding of different themes and uh, you know thinkers that we have discussed in this course so uh, that's about uh, the uh, final exam i am waiting for any questions or comments that you may have and i would be very happy to respond so i'll wait for about 1 minute and if there are no question then we would we would like to end this live session and hopefully you will use the discussion forum for your queries and comments if any all right so uh, we have one question from jaina what are the main differences or key differences between procedural and substantive democracy uh, jaina for details i am sure you can uh, go back to the lectures but what do we mean by the procedural democracy or substantive democracy so um, uh, in the lecture if you recall i have discussed that how democracy has become a kind of legitimizing idea in modern polity so even you know uh, autocratic regime or military junta or one party rule try to legitimize their uh, power in the name of democracy however democracy as an ideal 
is something which is a kind of uh, internalizing certain ethos and that ethos is of say political equality or say uh, freedom freedom of speech expression freedom of religion freedom of worship or not to worship at all or justice pluralism respecting the plurality of uh, views having the freedom to express your thoughts freely allowing the individual without any consideration of his or her socio economic uh, background to have the opportunity to live with dignity and to save the life the way he or she want to lead now those ideals require a polity to create a space where every individual can lead a life with dignity where everyone is treated equally without any discrimination where justice is accessible to everyone without any uh, you know uh, consideration or without any uh, discrimination on the basis of his or her socio economic standing so in that sense you may have many polities to uh, you know um, to to assert that they are yeah they are um, uh, democratic in a sense they have free and fair election they have a system of government which is based on say parliamentary or presidential uh, mode of governance there are separation of power so you may have many polities where these procedure what these procedure like free and fair election means that the government is elected by the people but just having free and fair election is not uh, uh, equal to creating a society or creating a polity where everyone can feel safe or be treated equally and can lead a life with dignity those ideals require more than procedural form of democracy for example in many society many polity you may have you know uh, certain procedural features of democracy like free and fair elections parliamentary modes of government Uh, or presidential mode of government or you know um, a kind of uh, uh, separation of power or a constitution or maybe a judiciary but these are merely the procedural part of democracy the substantive part requires creation of a polity where realization of these political ideals like equality justice and freedom is made available not just to few or also many but to each one and that requires a kind of constant uh, you know strive striving for realizing that uh, ideals or creating the space where everyone including you know uh, in most democratic polity the challenge is between say what john stuart mill call tyranny of majority so uh, democracy by the very nature of its um, uh, working or functioning um, put the majority in certain advantages advantages position however the substantive democracy requires that there has to be some safeguard or inbuilt safeguards for those who do not uh, belong to the majority or in fact those who are in the minority they should also feel safe and at the same time uh, a, you know lead a life with dignity so those questions are related to uh, to to uh, substantive issue and which uh, is related to the terms like deepening of democracy or democratization and so on so i hope uh, for now that answer your question jana if you have any more question you are welcome to 
ask and you can also use the discussion forum. Okay then, so uh, if there are no questions, I think we can conclude this live session and uh, you know, um, just a um, request to all the listeners that use your discussion forum or weekly feedback to give your constructive suggestion to improve this course further and I hope that uh, this course is enjoyable and you are learning about various issues or themes in uh, political theory such as power, state, sovereignty, governmentality and so on. So um, use the discussion forum and also we are going to have one more live session before your final exam so you can also come and interact on that day. But um, just to um, remind you about the registration so if you have enrolled and want to uh, uh, yeah thanks Janab Janab is saying that the assignment are very helpful too yes Janab and as I have said that if you do uh, um, assignment every week regularly it will not just help you to uh, pass the first part of uh, the assessment that is from the assignment but also give you certain advantage in the final exam where some questions would be directly from the assignment so uh, yeah just to uh, conclude you know uh, if you have enrolled and not registered for the exam please do so as early as you can and I'll see you in the next live session and also you can use the discussion forum for for your questions and comments. And I thank Suganti and Jainav for your questions today. And I'll just check that PPT of all the lectures would be made available to all of you. Thank you. Thanks for being with me today.